stand for the Confession of Faith, the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us man and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For laborers in God's kingdom, that the Lord of the harvest would send them into his vineyard to proclaim peace and the coming of his kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For all pastors, that they would faithfully deliver the word of God without fear of the wolves who threaten to devour them continuing in the footsteps of the apostles and the 72, and trusting at all times that in the Lord their labor is not in vain, and praying for Ed Schneeflock, who will next Saturday be ordained as pastor at Troy uh, Christ Lutheran Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For Christian homes, that the proclamation of peace would take root therein, so that all husbands and wives would love and honor one another, and all children would be nurtured in fear and faith toward God's name, so that the kingdom of God would indeed draw near to us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For civic leaders and the citizens whom they serve, that the Lord would extend peace to this sin-sick world, and that violence, injustice, and wrongdoing would be undone as the will of God is carried out upon the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For Pastor Johnson, for Donna, for Mike and Mary, for Mary, for Diane, for Donnie, for Andrew, for all who have any need, that even as Jesus has borne the burdens of all mankind, he might likewise look upon them in mercy and grant them healing now and patience to await the resurrection of the last day and fill all the other needs in these lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our hearts and minds as we bring our tithes and offerings to the Lord this day, that he would keep us from greed and pride of heart and accept our gifts together with our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all who dine at the Lord's altar this day, that they may receive the abundant comfort and satisfaction God promised to his people of old in Jerusalem and fulfilled in our Lord's body and blood, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. How awesome are your deeds, O Lord. You have planted us and directed us to pray that you would send workers into your vineyard you have answered that prayer through your Son and His Church. As your kingdom draws nearer each day, teach us to boast only in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, rejoicing that our names are written in heaven through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We offer our gifts as we sing the offertory.
Lord be with you. right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you holy lord almighty father everlasting god through jesus christ our lord therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we laud and magnify your glorious name evermore praising you and saying Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and his blood on the cross. Gathered in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb and his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. 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 Come, Amen. Lord Jesus. O oh, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take away.